Well, hello, friends. Coach Bob with you today, and today you have caught me out on the road having a ball, man. I'm just having a blast, and have I got a great video for you. But before we get going, I'm gonna, gonna through the magic of YouTube, we're gonna have a comment read real quick right here. Coach Bob, I am 73 years old and had never ridden a motorcycle before. I get around okay, other than the normal aches and pains of being 73 years old. I was wondering. Is it too late for me to start riding a motorcycle? Now, when I say a motorcycle, I don't necessarily mean a standard motorcycle, but you know, a spider type of motorcycle. So do you think I can do that at my age? I've never ridden before. What do you think? So am I too old? Let's answer that question. First off, I want you to do me a favor. Give the video a big old fat thumbs up because a regular thumbs up, you know, will not do. Leave a comment, comment again, get a conversation going. That's what this is all about. We're a community. We want to talk about this topic today, but I'm going to burn through this little turn here real quick. <laughs> Cameras are bouncing all over the place and I don't even care. Woo, here we go. Look at that. Go, Daddy, go, Daddy, go. Nice. <laughs> I love every minute of it, man. We got another one coming up, too. Ooh. That is just too much fun, man. Gonna, like Christopher Cross, I'm riding like the wind. <laughs> I splattered a couple of bugs. Look at it. They were so excited, they just wanted to be a part of it. <laughs> Bet they don't have the guts to do that again. But it, All right. So, my advice on anyone who is asking this question is start before it's too late. You, you know, I, I know that... I know that a lot of people ask me this, you know, they, they, they ask me not only should they start riding, they ask me why I ride. And my answer is normally, I'm going to ride until I can't. So you need to do it before it's too late. There will come a time, there will come a time in most of our lives where we won't be able to ride anymore and it will be too late for us. Um, and I'm, you know, you get on the idea of danger, for example. Are motorcycles dangerous? Are they inherently dangerous? Yes, they are. Duh, yeah, they're dangerous. Heck yeah, look at this. I'm in the wind. If I'm in the wind, that means that if a tree falls, there's nothing between me and the tree. If a deer runs out in front of me and I hit him, there's nothing between me and the antler. There's just, it's dangerous. You know, I've had two people that I know, I'm not going to say that I was friends with, but two people that I know that have been killed in the last two years on motorcycles. Now, to hear that would just, people were like, what? And you still ride? Are you crazy? I'm going to tell you, one of them was riding with no gear on and at low speed, they fell, hit their head on a curb, popped their head like a melon, they died on the spot. The other was a younger guy who was riding a little more aggressively. He was wearing his gear. He went down, he hit the curb, and he died on the spot. Now, I'm not blaming them for their deaths because, you know, I believe that, you know, I'm going to get all Bibly on you. Uh, every man is appointed to die. There's a Bible verse for you. You got an appointment, and I don't believe that that appointment's going to be changed. Now, can you tempt fate on a motorcycle? You can, but I guess it just depends on how you look at it. If I know the days of my if I know that my days are numbered, then, you know, I trust the one numbering them. And I'm just going to ride and enjoy my life. And I'm going to do it before it's too late. You know, the number of times around the sun that I've gone, uh, that'll be 62 coming up real soon, is a lot more than I'm going to do. I'm not going to live to be 124. I don't want to tell you a story. And to tell you that I'm going to live to be 124 years old would be kind of stupid. Is it possible? Anything's possible, but it is highly unlikely. In fact, I'll tell you, if I live another 30 years, it'd be a miracle. To be 92, I'd love to do it, but I, I you know, judging from my family history and the gene pool, I'd say it probably ain't gonna happen, but it, I don't worry about it. So I wanna ride before it's too late. I, I wanna get out there every day and experience this beautiful creation 
I want to get out and, and smell the air, smell the plants and the trees, experience it, live it. You know, I am in the world of the living, and so I ride. And when I ride, I'm not existing on this planet. I'm living on this planet. I'm living, and I love living. I know I'm alive, and, and it's wonderful. So, let me say this. Should you get a motorcycle? I would say yes before it's too late. Are they dangerous? Yes. Can you get killed on it? Yes. But would you can? Would, but would you do it anyway? Heck yeah! I'm, I, well, I do it every day. I obviously know the risks associated with it because, like I said, I've I've I've, I've got acquaintances who have died in the last two years. Two of them, right? And I also want to tell you, I've got two friends in the last six months, both of them younger than me. They both ended up in the ER with heart conditions. One had a heart attack, uh, sat on the floor, I'm, I'm having a heart attack, and boom, ended up in the ER. And thank goodness he ended up being okay. And the other is having quadruple bypass surgery, and he's younger than me. Now, a part of that is genetic. I'm going to say, though, that you're not guaranteed tomorrow, and you know that things can go wrong with this machine. Because of that, if you want to live, if you want to experience new things, I'm going to, if it's kayaking or skydiving or rollerblading, whatever it is, if you have the physical prowess to put on a pair of rollerblades and put on a helmet and all your gear and go rollerblade, knock yourself out. I mean, not literally, but be careful, but, you know, do it. Do you know that here recently I, I've got an electric skateboard? Yes, I have an electric skateboard. And me and my buddy, we go out and ride them. Yeah, Coach Vic says I'm insane. She's like, you're a lunatic. You're 61 years old. Why are you riding around on a skateboard? And my answer to her is because it's fun and I can. It's great. We have a great time. Doing 20 miles an hour, cruising down the sidewalk. <laughs> Got a drink in my hand, just rolling down the sidewalk, enjoying myself. It's awesome. It's just awesome. Uh, so then I'm asked this, am I physically fit enough to ride? Well, I'm going to, I can't answer that one for you either, but I'm going to tell you, I'm going to give you a few, a few pointers. All right. Here's a pointer. I'm going to give you a few pointers. All right. If you're talking about a gold wing, you know, I know guys who are in their 70s that ride gold wings and guys that ride really big, big motorcycles. So your physical strength is not the issue that I would have as a new rider when you get older. I would say it's this, it's skill set. The gold wing has a lot of power. It's on two wheels and you can get yourself in a world of trouble on a two wheeler really, really fast. I'm not a big advocate or a big proponent of people just starting to ride two-wheeled motorcycles late in life. I'm not saying that it can't be done, but it requires a lot of training because we know that most motorcycle accidents occur in the first five months of your riding, and it's due to inexperience. It's panicking. It's grabbing a handful of front brake. It's going too fast through a turn. It's just misjudging a turn. Um, slow speed maneuvering is weak. Um, there's a lot going on there and you can fall. And if you panic and you grab that throttle and you, man, you, you can just find yourself in the woods real quick. Now on the spider, I'm going to say this, if you're 70 something years old and you've never ridden, I don't think you should get one and hop out on the interstate, but you can certainly get on one ride it under a controlled environment and learn to ride way faster than you think you can, you will be a lot better and a lot safer than probably most, than a lot of the riders out there, I can assure you of that, because you're going to be more cautious. Now, going too slow, I don't consider caution. I consider that dangerous. You get run over if you go too slow. So, but as far as skill sets and strength, if you can drive a car, if, if you're capable of driving a car and your, your motor skills are, are adequate for driving an automobile and you can walk to the car, heck, and if you're strong and can push a wheelchair to the car, then you can, you can ride a spider. I guarantee you can ride a spider and starting late is not a problem. In fact, I think that's one of the beautiful things about the spider. Now, the rider 
community, you know, the, 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 the people who say that if you're not doing this or doing that, you're not riding a motorcycle, whatever, you know, I'm so far past all that nonsense, I could just freaking, you know, when I look back, I don't even see them out there. But you're going to hear stuff. But I'm going to tell you, they don't understand. They don't get it. And one day they will if they live long enough. Or if they're injured. Or if they just desire to ride something that's more reasonable. You know, I, I say... Get you something like, it doesn't have to be a spider. I mean, obviously I ride a spider, so I'm gonna tell you to get a spider. Um, but it doesn't have to be a spider. It could be a Riker. A Riker is less forgiving on the old bones, so I'll tell you that. And it could be a tri-glide. Tri-glides are super cool. I know some older guys that ride them and, and they love their tri-glides. But for me, the smoothness of the spider, the quietness of the engine, I know, I know, quietness you want quiet yes i do i don't want to hear i don't want to hear all that i don't want to sit at a red light and rev my engine i don't want to squeeze in a clutch when i'm on my spider i don't want to to to, to, to dilly dally around with a lot of things i just want to enjoy my ride when i get on the spider and you can do that you can do that safely at any age and that's really really cool you know my mother died at 87 now, she had problems with her feet. She had, you know, a lot of neuropathy with her feet. But I believe with a handbrake, she could have ridden this thing. My, my father, I guarantee you, 87, he died. He was 87 years and five months old, okay? At 87, he could ride, man. I guarantee you, he could ride. When he was 70 years old, he could ride. I remember seeing him as an older guy. Uh, riding my Suzuki Katana 1100 and he was impressed with the power it had so yeah now he had ridden motorcycles when he was younger but he had not ridden in decades when he rode my motorcycles and he would just get on them one and hop on it right around the block like it was nothing so and my father was not some skinny felt athlete my dad was big man you know when he died he was 280 pounds 290 pounds he was he was a big old man. <laughs> there was a lot of him to love. So if I sound fired up and excited about riding and the potential of seeing someone else ride, you know, I, first, I also want to say this. If you get one and get killed, it ain't my fault, okay? I'm not telling you, go out buy one right now. You got to. You can do it. You're, best. You're the best in the world. That's not what I'm telling you. I'm telling you, I am a proponent of living. I am a proponent of life. Of whatever you feel you're capable of doing, do it. Do it and enjoy it. That's what I do. And I'm going to tell you this. It, I make Vicky, Coach Vic, the effervescent Coach Vic. <laughs> I make her a train wreck. She's a train wreck. She's like, Bob, act your age. And I'm like, what does that mean? Sit down? You know, does it, does it mean just wait for God, wait to die? What, what does that mean? Don't do anything that's over the top? I'm going to tell you, I, I, that's not how I'm wired. You know, I went to Daytona Bike Week here recently, and I saw a lot of guys younger than me, and I saw a lot of guys older than me. And they were out riding. They're out doing their thing. If they can do it, why can't I? And why can't you? People do it, man. People are living their lives. And people aren't taking no for an answer. And I think that's a good thing. You know, I remember seeing 60-year-old people when I was young thinking they were, like, knocking on death's door. My kids don't look at me that way, I guarantee you that. They don't look at me that way. You know, I've got weird little things going on, you know, with my body, my heart, nerve pain. I got all kinds of weird little things going on. And that's okay. That's okay. I could die tomorrow. And I tell Vic, like I said, I make her nervous. I always tell her, if I die, you knew I went out with a smile on my face, girl. When they put this body in a box, it's gonna be used up. <laughs> I wanna use every bit of it. And, you know, I, I make, I have no bones about that whatsoever. You know, I, 
I love it. I love it. But these little anomalies that I have going on in my body, one day my body is going to tell me no, and there's not going to be anything I can do about it. It could be next week. It could be next year. It could be 20 years from now. But when it tells me no, I won't have a choice. It could be from an accident. It could be from a motorcycle accident. It could be from falling in the shower. We had a friend fall in the shower. In fact, we had two friends fall in the shower in the last two months. One looked like she had been in a boxing match with Mike Tyson. And the other is still having issues right now. It's crazy. It's crazy. And they're both younger than I am. So, you know, accidents happen every day. You're not, let me give you some bad news. You're not getting out of this thing alive. You're not getting out of this thing alive. And that's just the way it is. So you have to make your decision how much risk you're willing to lay out there and how much skin you're going to put in the game and how hard you want to play. Or if you just want to sit on the sidelines. I'm not going to sit on the sidelines and I'm not calling a timeout. I know I'm in the second half of the game. I could be in the last quarter. In fact, I probably am. Statistically speaking, I definitely am. And that's okay. But I'm playing all the way to the end of the game as hard as I can with whatever I have. So, so there you have it. There's my advice. Ride before it's too late. Just ride before it's too late. There's a little Coach Bob motivation and inspiration, perspiration, whatever you want to call it, for you. So make sure you give this video a big old fat thumbs up. Share it with your friends, all that jazz. And that wraps up another one. So do me a favor, you, yes you, go out by the motorcycle of your dreams. Do it. Do it before it's too late. Eat right. Take care of yourself. And remember, if you're not having fun, you're definitely doing it wrong. Now you go seize the day and I will see you on the road real soon. And I don't care if you're 20 or if you're 90. I want to ride with you because you're living and I love it. <laughs>